This is my WooCommerce store and it has a customer support chatbot. This is not just another customer support chatbot because it is powered by AI. It can answer the customer questions intelligently and dynamically. Let's see a quick demo. This chatbot starts with asking user for their email address and once the email address is shared, it has few set of predefined questions. It can solve the user queries related to order status. It can solve user query related to product recommendations or it can solve the user queries for refund policies and not just these three predefined questions, but it can answer literally anything else based on the input provided. So let me ask a quick question related to order status for this chatbot. This chatbot asked me for the order ID. I have entered it and now let's see what is the output. As you can see that here are the details, email on file for the order, what is the order status, when the order is created, when the order was paid, uh, what is the payment status, what is the shipping status and what are the items included in this order. And this data is a real time data fetched from WooCommerce database. Now let us try asking some another tough questions. I click on yes, I need some additional help. This is my query that I am going to ask and this is the output for this query. I'm sorry for the size you received wasn't correct. You are eligible for a refund if the delivery item was wrong as long as you act within the policy window. So it shared what is the refund policy highlights, what are the eligible reasons and the steps to request a refund. And not just that, it shared the extraction items. Now let's try asking some more questions. This is the next question I am going to ask for this chatbot. Can you recommend me shoes of blue color between the price of $1.50 to $1.60? And this is the response that it shared. Here are the blue color shoes in the range of $1.50 to $1.60, Air Pro X3 Blue and Air Pro X3 Whole Blue. So it has shared the whole details, just like what are the available sizes, what's the status of that particular product, what is the link to access that particular product and other details. Again, it's an amazing response. And now I'm happy with the response. I'll just end this chat. And while ending the chat, it has also shared a conversation ID which is unique to this particular conversation. And it will be helpful if any support ticket is raised related to this conversation in future for tracking purposes. The demo we saw just now was completely working demo. In addition to that, I have configured some security as well as error handling steps. Let's see how those works. Now I have entered a random dummy email and then I'll click on I want to know my order status. I'll enter the same order ID that I have entered before, but email address is different here. And within few seconds of entering this, there is a response that email address and order ID combination you provided does not match with the records. While fetching and sharing the details of that particular order ID, implemented a security measure which will match the email ID provided and order ID provided. There will be no privacy concerns for the users. Any of the data will not be shared until the email address as well as the order ID is matched. Now I'll enter the correct email. And now when I enter the correct email, here are the correct details of the order. And it also mentions that now the email ID is correct. Now let's see how it handle errors. I'll click on I want to know my order status. I'll type any random order ID here. And for the order ID entered, here is the response. The order ID you provided appears to be incorrect. If this is incorrect, please reach out to our support team and this is the email address of the support team. And this is how smartly this chatbot handled the error. That's And that's why this is not just another customer support chatbot. Hi, this is Abel and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're first time watching video on my channel, Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I create videos on AI automation and WordPress where the use cases are real and actual and not just trying to sell you hype. So for building this WooCommerce customer support chatbot, I have used Typebot. Typebot is an open source chatbot builder where you can build chatbots visually while self-hosting it. You can consider Typebot as a front-end interface for this chatbot. Similarly for backend, I have used Anaton, which is the open source and most widely used popular automation platform. This is not the first time I have made a video on chatbot using Typebot and Anaton, but in the past I have made a video explaining you how to make chatbots step by step. I'll divide this video in two parts. First is how you can build the front end of this chatbot using Typebot, then how you can build and connect the back end of the chatbot with the front end. This is the interface for Typebot where you can build chatbots visually by just dragging and dropping components and just connecting these with each other. So this chatbot starts, initially it greets the customer then creates a random ID and just map it to a variable named a chat ID. It is unique to each conversation so you can track it. Then it asks for the email address of the user. It saves the email address of the user in a variable called as email. Then it gives four different options to the user. First, if the user wants to track their order status. Second, if they want any product recommendations. Third, if they want to know more about refund policy. And fourth is anything else other than this. When anyone clicks on I want to know the order status, it goes to the next block. It asks for the order ID of that user. It collects the order ID 
and it then triggers a workflow in Anaton. It waits for some time until Anaton sends the output back. Then it is stored in a variable named as output, and then we are using a if condition to check if the output shared by Anaton is like this. The email address and order ID of the combination provided does not match with the records because I have set up this condition back in the backend with Anaton. And if the email address and order ID is not matched, I have connected it back. Again, saying the user that please share your email address again to continue. And once the email address is received, I am passing this again to the order tracking window, where it asks user for the order ID. And just storing it in an order ID variable. Similarly, for the product recommendations, it asks a simple question: What product? If the customer is looking for any information or any budget or any preferences, whatever the answer customer shares, it again stores in a variable. For the refund policy, it says, uh, "Please allow me a moment while I check for the refund." And for anything else, again, it asks any extra question if the user wants to ask. And again, that ask question is saved in a different variable. and all these blocks eventually is connected to the anaton workflow trigger it triggers the workflow waits for the output for that workflow to send here in typebot saves the output and once the output is saved it asks for a follow up question i have added a wait time of 2 seconds and it has a small task was your question answered if not feel free to ask again then if user selects my question has been answered and it goes to the last window here and it says that and thank you for chatting Here is the conversation ID for this particular chat. Someone clicks on yes, I need additional help. It goes to the workflow trigger. It triggers the same Anaton workflow using Webhook. Again, it sets the output in a variable named as output, and it displays the output. And once the output is displayed, again it is added in a loop and asking if the query of the user has been answered or not. And this is the whole loop. And I am passing these three query parameters. First is initial. So initial is a variable in which I have stored the initial variable value. If user selects any of this question that is stored in the initial variable, then I am sending the additional data. Data is the data which is asked once user has selected any particular option. Example: User selects, I want to know the status of my order. Then we ask for the order ID. Or for example, if user asks, I want product recommendations, we are asking few more questions again. So these are called as additional data here. And here I am sending the additional data, comma separated one by one. At the last, I am sending chat ID as a query parameter to Anaton, and in the advanced parameters, I have set the timeout to 40 seconds. Similarly, for the follow-up question workflow trigger, here in the advanced questions in query parameters, initial here I have set the value to follow-up question because I have configured the Anaton AI agent to respond to follow-up questions too. And in the additional data, I am sending any follow-up question that user has asked. The chat ID is same here, and in the advanced parameters, I have set the timeout to 40 seconds. This is how the front end interface of chatbot is connected and built with typebot. Now let's go to Anaton. If you want to self host Anaton either on your local computer or on a lifetime free web server, I made a playlist of 10 to 15 detailed tutorials on self hosting Anaton for its security, backups and what not. You can check the link in the description to know more. Now coming to our workflow. The workflow starts with a webhook and ends with a respond to webhook node. It uses the AI agent as its brain. Here it uses the open AI chat model. which is powered by gpt5 nano why i have used gpt5 nano because gpt5 nano is the fastest and cheapest version of gpt5 for which the pricing is 0.05 uh, dollars per 1 million input tokens and for the output tokens the price is 0.40 per 1 million output tokens and this is about the open ai chat model with the configuration step by step from the beginning i'll open the webhook node from here and this is the webhook url where a type bot is sending data This is the trigger of the workflow that means when the webhook is triggered the workflow starts connected ai agent to it let me quickly open it and here is the detail prompt of this ai agent you can just pause the screen and take a screenshot of this prompt if you want to use it in your workflow in the prompt i have clearly mentioned what are the roles and responsibilities for this chatbot with that what output it should send in each of the condition and with this i have also explained what is the input structure for this ai agent and what the tools that ai agent has access to so it, so it can intelligently access each of the connected tool and provide the output with this i have also added the response standards where i have clearly mentioned what kind of responses i am expecting and at last i have mentioned input data where i am saying where i am sharing the customer email here is the dynamic value where i am passing from the webhook node then i am passing the customer query and then i am passing the supporting information 
and then I have connected three tools here. First is get document from Google Docs. Another is get order in WooCommerce and get many products in WooCommerce. And here is a simple memory that I have used. And in the memory, the key to identify the unique user session that is the child ID. And because of which in the beginning, I have created a random ID and mapped it to a variable named a chat ID in type bot. Same variable I am using it here for identifying each user unique session and the context window is five. So that means with this unique chat ID, the past five interactions will be sent to the AI as a context. Let me go to the tool one by one. Here I have connected a Google Docs tool. Google Docs tool for this particular document. I'm just using this resource as a document and the operation to get the data of this particular document. Here is this document which, which has some frequently asked questions and the refund policy for my WooCommerce store. So every time there is a question related to refund policy or any of the frequently asked question, this is the resource from where AI will fetch the data. Now this is the get an order in WooCommerce. This is where the actual status of the order fetching gets done. Here I have connected my WooCommerce account. Here I have used the resource as order and the operation as get. Order ID is defined automatically by the model. The prompt and input to the AI agent have already mapped the order ID. So it will dynamically fetch that order ID from here and it will be mapped here. At last, the last tool here is get many products in WooCommerce. Here I have used the resource as product and operation as get many and I have set the limit to 50. So if you, any user asks for a product recommendations, this tool will be run. It will get the 50 products in my store as output. AI will automatically decide based on the input that which product should recommend for the end user. At last, I am responding back to the webhook. One thing quickly to note, before adding this module, you have to go to webhook node. And here in the respond tab, you have to select using respond to webhook node. By default, it is set to immediately, but you have to change it here. And once changed, you can use respond to webhook node. And here respond with first incoming item. And that's it. With the simple steps, front-end for Tybot and back-end for Anaton, a smart, intelligent and dynamic chatbot is created. And it's that simple. If you want to get this implemented in your business or get this customized, let's connect on a quick call. The link for booking a free 30-minute discovery call is available in the description of this video. Based on your preference and availability, you can book a call with me. And at last, if you want to use the same chatbot on WhatsApp, Please do let me know in the comments. I'll make a dedicated video on how you can get a dedicated WhatsApp number, obtain and WhatsApp API, and then use this same chatbot on WhatsApp. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you press the like button. If you have any feedback, suggestions, or need help with this particular video, you can ask me in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.